Let's listen into reactions coming in from Nepal. So in the hotel, everything is safe. I'm trying to call to my home. But Netok is busy. It's not reasonable. I'm worried for my family. Fear writ large on faces of people. This is, of course, the prestigious, the famous Shangri La Hotel of Kathmandu. People out on the streets. There is fear all over. 25th of April, the last earthquake, the death toll rose to 8,000, 17,000 plus people were injured and the, the epicenter of the earthquake today, in fact, two massive aftershocks in, Kart, in uh, Nepal, one in Kodari, the second at Namche Bazar close to the Everest. And as Med Department officials have been explaining that these aftershocks will continue as the tectonic plates shift where was the epicenter? The epicenter was Kodari in Nepal. That was the 7.3 magnitude earthquake, 7.4 magnitude earthquake. The epicenter was Namche Bazar. And this time it was southeast of the previous earthquake. So the impact was more in India. In India, whether it was Bihar, Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Rajasthan, Punjab. In fact, it's the same fault line that travels all along to Afghanistan. And that is why some of the aftershocks were also experienced in Afghanistan and this will continue the med department the IMD is warning that as long as these tectonic plates continue to shift they mesh in before they settle down as long as the energy stays within till that energy comes out these aftershocks will continue and that is why precautions need to be taken. Bing, these of course are pictures of the Tribhuvan International Airport. People ran out in panic. I want to quickly bring in headlines today's Manogya Loiwal who joins us from Kolkata with the latest. Manogya, there was fear even on the streets of Kolkata. Well, absolutely. It was a terrible situation for a few seconds. People running out on the streets, having a harrowing experience and also reliving the terror of 25th April. Most of the schools in North Bengal, especially Darjeeling and other hilly areas, have been closed down indefinitely. And when I say that, I put it on record that the, most of the schools have given over. They've said that they will open and reopen only when it is ascertain on whether the buildings are safe enough to allow the students to stay there and study. Most of the hostels have been ev evacuated. Students have been asked to stay in open air till the time they are able to ascertain the loss and the damage of the buildings and whether they are safe to stay and continue to be there. As far as Nepal is concerned, well, I covered it last time. It was it was terrible. It was it was pathetic as far as the basic situation was concerned. And I got calls from several people. I spoke to a few people there who said that they are again reliving the horror. And if it was 7.9 last time, it was nothing less as far as the fear factor was concerned. And of course, it is the aftershocks are continuing. We've heard of a second aftershock in Jalpaiguri district also. also. Besides that, there's a no time at the airport of Kathmandu. That means no airmen will be allowed to operate. That means no flights will be allowed to land or take off out of Kathmandu at least till 2.30 p.m. Okay. That means this is only the basic time that has been given. It might be extended as and when need arises. And Manogya, it's closer home this time. Uh, you talked about Darjeeling. There's also Gangtok, uh, uh, where aftershocks were felt. IMD saying that Gangtok, again, major aftershocks felt. So this is Sikkim, this is Bengal, parts of northeast of India, also experiencing these aftershocks and coming all the way down to Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Delhi and Himachal. Well, Nepal, Sikkim, Gangtok and all these places cannot be uh, separated because they fall in the same Himalayan range. And that's the reason when there's a tectonic plate movement in Nepal, it completely has ripple, ripple effects on the Sikkim border as well as the uh, surrounding borders. And that's the reason why Darjeeling, the Kanchanjunga range and the Sikkim range is directly affected. Besides that, there have been earthquake uh, tremors felt in Assam also. We've told that the entire northeast stretch up to Arunachal Pradesh has felt the tremors for a few seconds. But 
despite being for a few seconds, the loss seems to be in uh, uh, as far as the fear factor is concerned. Extremes is it's, it's expected expected to be long term because the fear okay. factor is sinking in the lives of the people. Most of these people living in the hilly areas, they feel that there will be repercussion with the landslides taking place. There has been a tectonic plate movement that will affect the movement of the 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 presence of the mountains, and yes. there will be landslides also that will cause even more damage. And just as we speak, there is news coming in of more aftershocks uh, in Nepal. Uh, aftershock measuring 5 on the Richter scale has just been reported in Nepal. And this is the fear that Manogya has been reporting about. Our reporters on ground in Nepal have been reporting this. People now scared to get back to their homes. Several homes partially damaged and this damage will only increase uh, if we were to talk about the situation in Darjeeling, schools have been shut down indefinitely. They will carry out a safety audit before once again permitting students to enter schools and this will take time. So schools shut down indefinitely in Darjeeling reports. Headlines today is Manogya Loiwal. And there are five aftershocks now that have been reported in Kathmandu, in Nepal just today. 7.4 on the Richter scale in Kudari. 7.3 at Namche Bazar, very close to Mount Everest. Fortunately, Mount Everest had already been evacuated. There are no mountaineers. Uh, that is the report that we are getting from Namche Bazar, uh, from Kathmandu. But because phone lines are jammed, because people are calling up each other, trying to figure out how, if everyone is safe, the latest information from Namche Bazar is still not filtering out just as yet. A lot of reaction coming in from different parts of Nepal. 7.4 was the magnitude of the earthquake. The greater depth, of course, than last time. 10 kilometers was the depth which was seen as a very shallow earthquake uh, on the 25th of April. 8,000 plus reported killed. This time it's 19 kilometers and damage assessment still underway. The US Geological Survey said that 68 kilometers west of Namche Bazar near Mount Everest was the epicenter of the second quake. 18 climbers had been killed in the first quake, of course, uh, on the 25th of April. Now, a second earthquake has also been reported in Afghanistan, measuring 6.9 on the Richter scale. The Kathmandu airport closed down till 2.30, as headlines today's Manogya Loiwal was just reporting. Phone lines jam jammed, houses damaged. These are pictures you see of people running out of the Tribhuvan International Airport in Kathmandu, running out to the tarmac for safety. There were plumes of smoke is how an eyewitness described the situation. It, at the Kathmandu Airport, there was dust everywhere. The earthquake tremors lasted almost a minute and a half plus. And I have with me the Director General of NDRF, Mr. O.P. Singh, on the line. Uh, Mr. Singh, what steps have we taken after this second earthquake, sir? We have already alerted the NDRF teams all over the country, be they at Patna, be they at Pat Calcutta, Ghaziabad, Gohati. All these places have been alerted, and the teams are ready. Uh, they are ready with all the necessary equipment, with sniffer dogs and everything. Uh, we are just getting and collecting information from all these uh, parts of the country. So far, we have uh, received a news that one, one person has died in Dharapur in Patna because of the collapse of wall. But otherwise, no further casualty or no further damage has been reported from any parts of the country. All our teams are back from Nepal, uh, rested, uh, relaxed and now ready to act again. They haven't been sent anywhere just as yet, sir? No, no, no. They haven't been sent anywhere. Uh, and initial reports of damage are only one in Patna. No loss of life or property anywhere else, sir? No, not so far. Now, there were some reports of damage to some schools in Darjeeling uh, because of which schools were shut down. But nothing that warrants an NDRF intervention. 
So NDRF can always intervene, provided the state government feels so, and we have the instructions from the Home Ministry or from the National Disaster Management Authority. But so a motor we can also go, but so far no uh, no damage has been reported and we are not in a position to intervene anywhere. The states are doing their jobs. You had a meeting with the Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh. What was that meeting all about, sir? No, we are in close contact with the Home Ministry. Okay, and... Uh... As of now, as of now, how many teams of NDRF uh, uh, on standby? Oh, it's difficult to say, but uh, all, all, all the battalions have been put on alert. All the required teams, I mean, sufficient teams are there. Mr. O.P. Singh, Director General of NDRF for the moment, many thanks for speaking to us here on Headlines today. The Director General of NDRF saying... One person reported dead in Danapur in Patna because of a wall collapse... And that is the casualty so far.